What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to change the two water separators on a CAT 420 backhoe. Alright, so the first thing we got to do is we got to get the panel off the engine. <clears throat> you got to lift the bucket up. Make sure you put this brace in place because you're going to shut the uh, motor off when you're doing this work. You don't want this to drop down. So here's the panel right there. That comes off really easily. You've got some bolts here. You got one, two, three right there. Those come out, that panel slides right off. Now your separators are right down here. You got one down in here, right there, your primary. You got one back in here. There. Is the primary we'll change that one first all right guys so there's a locking ring up here that I had to take some channel locks to and get it to turn but it turns counterclockwise so it screws off to the left like this slides down that comes off then this should just like that I thought it twisted but it just literally just pops right out just pull straight down on it it'll come out okay so we're gonna take this new filter that we got right here I like to write, write the date that we changed it right and the hours and this thing will just slide right back on here it just sucks up into here I believe uh, let me see here yep just fits right up like that and then we'll take this ring right here slide it right back up into there ring up here Counterclockwise slides right back on. Alright, guys, so right here's the secondary filter. The primary filter we just did needs to get changed first. This one gets changed second. Alright, so this one's a lot easier to access. This locking ring comes down, pull this down. Like that, watch for diesel, pop that back on, See, ah. if you look here, there's a little groove there. Put that back on. You just take this locking ring. Just to back on like that. Alright, so we got it back on. I'm gonna clean it up. Just like that. Good to go. This one was a lot easier to get off. It just twisted right off by hand. The primary filter, there's not as much room to get your hand in here and twist. I had to use some channel locks, took me a little longer, but it was pretty darn easy.
right guys, that wraps up changing the water fuel separator. One last thing, I had the brace down. I'm gonna put this brace back up, put the pin through it. Just like that. All right guys, thanks for watching. As always, don't forget to subscribe if you like the videos and more videos like this. If you guys have any questions, leave comments below. Thanks for watching.